Hi Aries, Narai here going to do a reading for you. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Please know to take what fits and leave the rest as this is not a personal reading. Spirit, what message and guidance do you have for Aries, please and thank you. Messages and guidance for a sign of Aries, please and thank you. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. I feel like this is going to be a short reading. Ooh. Queen of Pentacles, this is you guys having responsibilities and taking care of those responsibilities, not allowing somebody to take you off course. This is also my match my energy card. I feel like you're not tolerating people that are not coming with the same energy you're coming with. So you're in that mode where if somebody's trying to talk to you and they have bad energy and you're not having bad energy, you're not wanting to deal with it. You're, they need to come at you the right way or they need to talk to you another time. Oh, wow. That sounds almost like a conversation my son and I had earlier today. I just realized that. <laughs> He's an Aries. But here is the Two of Swords. There may be some sort of difficult decision for you guys to make. Messaging. Oh, that's too many cards. One moment. Okay. I don't know what's going on. Mm. This has to do with your happiness. You're focused on happy. You don't want anyone to come and disrupt your happiness. Especially with the summertime coming. The weather's getting nice in a lot of places. Oh, what was that? Oh, it was the lover's card. <laughs> Did I say this was going to be a quick reading? It was the lover's card. There is a major decision to be made or you are going to meet your person, your soul connection, your deep soul connection, the person that brings you balance, a divine partner. Mm. Let me raise this. Nine of Swords. Somebody's going to be in that Nine of Swords energy because you're doing things differently. You're closing out cycles. Completion. Some of you might be traveling. And we have the Hierophant. It's a marriage card. It's a card that has to do with morals and values, belief systems, traditions. You might end up with somebody that has the same traditions as you. I feel like you were dealing with somebody probably in the past and they did not have the same traditions or belief system as you when it comes to relationships or business. And I say business if this is a major decision um, that's like a business decision but doesn't have to do with love. I feel like somebody may have chosen wrong and so there's sadness there. And look at that. Some of you are going to get a new job, some sort of gift, a raise. I dropped another card. Ooh, trust your intuition. A new relationship or a journey of self love, a death, a rebirth. An awakening, your confidence, you're being recognized, you're feeling much better about yourself. There's some sort of balancing act going on. It's about you prioritizing. I feel like the confidence, the rebirth, and everything has to do with you prioritizing. You've changed your priorities. You realized that 
for some of you, you may have been focused on the wrong thing and your happiness has to do with you prioritizing and, and focusing on the right thing. It's because you realized there was something that needed to be let go of. And for some of you, it was a person that did not have good intentions. They were trying to get away with things and they're watching you. So this is the person that may have that nine of swords energy, be in that nine of swords energy. They are watching you. Things are getting better for you. All right, let's see what comes out. One, two, three. Fire. Let go of emotional upheaval and embrace the renewal of the present. One moment. One more. Please and thank you. One more. Okay. Goals. Progress is positive and personal goals will be achieved. And we're going to leave you with that. I love you, Aries. Please like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, bye.